The Bermuda grass stem maggot it is a new and invasive pest of South Texas Bermuda grass pastures. The adults, which are small yellow flies, lay their eggs on the stems. The larvae move up the plant and burrow into and feed on the uppermost shoots. The uppermost shoots will eventually die. Once the larva completes development, it will leave the shoots and pupate in the soil. The life cycle of this insect can take two to three weeks, so multiple generations may occur. Growing conditions can affect the damage caused by this insect. Good soil and moisture conditions may minimize the impact of Bermuda grass stem maggot. However, damaged pastures may reduce the value of hay, especially if it is sold as feed for horses. When soil conditions are dry or poor, economic loss caused by this insect may increase. Well-grazed pastures are not normally affected by the fly because grazing livestock eat the fly eggs and maggots along with the grass. There are several ways to manage the Bermuda grass stem maggot. If 10 to 20 percent of terminals are found to be damaged within a week of harvest, proceed with the harvest and remove baled hay from the field as soon as possible. Once the damage becomes apparent, the crop is not likely to add a significant amount of yield. Damaged grass will have a frosted look, as shown here. Leaving the damaged crop in the field will only increase the odds of a reinfestation for the next crop. After cutting, you may consider treatment with the lowest labeled rate of a pyrethroid. These pesticides, though inexpensive, can help control Bermuda grass stem maggot populations. If your previous harvest had at least 20% of infested terminals, then the recommendation is to treat a few days after cutting before the grass begins to regrow. Research shows that a second application five to seven days later provides the best suppression. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about the Bermuda grass stem maggot, please feel free to ask those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, check out these videos to learn more principles that can help you improve your pest management.